Hi, we're coming to you from the International Hobby Expo. It's an awesome place for the aspiring hobbyists. They have everything from A to Z. It's a show you do not want to miss, so don't go away. I'm standing here with Ken Schlafelt, who is the owner of Badger Airbrush Incorporated. And I am so excited to have you here at the iHobby because the iHobby has so many wonderful um, displays and products. And, you know, I really like what you guys got here over here. You got uh, airbrushes and paints. And tell us about your company and how long you've been in the business and just what you guys are showcasing this uh, weekend. Well, Badger Airbrush is a leading manufacturer of airbrushes. We make them all here in the United States. And we surround that core product of airbrush with a lot of uh, products like paints and compressors and accessories that make airbrushing easier for the users of airbrushes. Uh, we've been in business for 47 years. We just enjoy what we do and finding out how to better enable end users of airbrushes to succeed in the usage of our product. Airbrush is used in almost every regard that you'll see at iHobby, whether it's painting Lexan bodies in the RC car field, weathering model trains in the model railroad field, camouflaging or detailing uh, fine scale models uh, that military people build, um, or even uh, prototype finishing on a new out of the box model that someone's built and then wants to put the proper finish on it. So there is very little in the hobby field that airbrush isn't used in some way. Our newest airbrush is the Chrome. It's a segment of the Renegade series, which we introduced about three years ago. But what makes the Chrome unique to this particular event is that we were assisted in the design by fine scale modelers. So it's very relevant to their applications in detailing and camouflaging their models. And uh, this is a high end detail airbrush. This is for the fine scale modeler who's doing. German Luftwaffe camouflage patterns, running rust lines off of rivets. Here you have your trigger uh, limitation screw, which enables you to set lines to a thousandths of an inch with a micrometer setting that has a reference line, so you can always come back to that pattern later. You have a finger thumb rest that creates a very comfortable feel between the thumb and the middle finger, guiding the index finger up to the trigger. The chrome also features a large well, so depending on the scale you're working in, you can utilize a little bit more paint uh, uh, if the project's a little bit larger and, and you want to do a little bit more maybe than just the detail element of it. It's an airbrush that produces hairlines because it produces very fine dots, uh, actually below 100 microns, which is uh, as fine a dot uh, that we are aware of in the uh, airbrush marketplace at this current time. You guys have a host of paints already, but this is some uh, new paints that you're um, showcasing to the iHobby. Can you tell us about these? Yeah, this is our new RC Air paint. This is designed for radio control uh, painters, guys who are doing Lexan car bodies and, and things of that nature. It's a little bit different than our Model Flex product, which is very popular for styrene. Uh, surfaces such as model trains and uh, fine scale military models and stuff of that nature. Uh, RC Air's uh, got a little more uh, vibrancy and brilliance to the color palette that's there, and it's a little bit different formulation designed for adhesion to Lexan and some of the rough, topsy turvy handling that those type of models will get when they're being raced and uh, and stuff of that nature. So, so this is our first uh, uh, track down the path in uh, in Lexan paint. Well, obviously, you have many colors that many people can work with. It suits everyone's needs. Yeah, absolutely. It's a very, uh, it's a bold, brilliant line. The RC guys are really into the radical element of model finishing, where you, you know, you get into your neon pinks and your iridescent colors and stuff of that nature. So we've addressed that uh, that flavor of finishing uh, in this particular paint line.
Now, I know you from Family Ties, exactly. and it's great to have you here with us at the iHobby. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Now, one thing that I think is really interesting, because we're over at the Badger Airbrush, you're very good at um, modeling with uh, the railroad here. You do right. stuff with airbrushes. Right. Tell us about that. Well, uh, you know, most people know me as part of this Family Ties family, but I'm also part of the modeler family, right. and specifically railroad models. And for years, I have... Uh, used airbrushes for painting and weathering models and um, and I'm here to say it's not as difficult as people think it is right. it's a great new it's a great part of the hobby it's uh, it, uh, it, even if you buy ready to run kits it can be you can finish these kits to make them far more realistic with uh, with airbrushing just fading paints or putting special effects on them All right here would you like to uh, show us here what do you well, do? yeah um, here, for example, is uh, an out-of-the-box uh, uh, kit, and um, somewhat shiny and 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 new. And here is some of what you can do with that kit with a little a little airbrushing and weathering. So you see, it's it makes a huge difference. It's not all that difficult. This was done with a, if I'm not mistaken, a water-based paint too. So you've got no no uh, no harmful solvents and. Um, uh, Model Flex is a great paint. I've used it myself. And um, so, you know, this is some of the results you get. Basically, you're taking uh, toys and making them into realistic models. And it's not that difficult. You just got to get a, like everything else, uh, like getting up on ice skates, you've got to get up and skate, get that airbrush in your hand, get an entry level brush if, if you want to, get going with it, try it, make a few mistakes, buy an inexpensive model kit. You know, go to the, uh, I always say to people, go, go get a, a, a two or three dollar, go on to the remainder table, go to a swap meet and get, a, get something really cheap you can practice on, practice on until you get it right. And Badger, I know, and other people have uh, uh, airbrush DVDs too, how-tos. So it's, it's a great thing. It's a great tool and I highly recommend it. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Uh, I don't know a lot about it, but you guys are informing me and hopefully uh, the viewing audience. Did I get that right, boss? I, I think it's absolutely correct. The only thing we can't teach you is the practice part. And that's where, where Michael's talking about. Get it in your hand, play with it. I tell people paint pop cans and shampoo bottles. And, you know, if you don't want to spend that 2 or $3 on the model kit, then you graduate to the 2 or $3 kit. Then you graduate to your layout pieces and stuff like that. But he's absolutely correct. Well, Ken, it's been great to have you here at the iHobby Expo. I learned a little bit more about Badger Airbrush. Well, we're glad to be here. We're proud of what we do, glad that we do it here in the United States. And uh, we love events like this where we can tell people about Badger Airbrush Company and how they can use our products in their modeling experience. Well, it looks like we have a visitor. Yeah, it looks like everyone wants to get into airbrushing, even Frankie. I guess so.